Hi everyone, I am Navdeep Ma. Today I am going to discuss the most commonly asked questions during the interview. Mental fear of unknown is common to every candidate who is going for the interview. But it exists only when there is unknown. If you are already prepared for the interview questions, then you can face the interview without any problem, without any fear. Let's start. Every interview starts with the basic question that tell me something about yourself. If you have written everything on your resume, why the interviewer is asking this question to you? It means he wants to know something more. He wants to judge something more. But he wants to know more of you. He wants to know how do you start your conversation? How confidently you are speaking? During this answer, you have to speak concisely. Don't make a long description of your answer. Don't tell about your family background until it is asked by the interviewer. Tell him about your qualification, your experience, your skills, and how your skills are related to the job for which you are applying. Never go into the detail. Now, second question is, what are your strengths and weaknesses? If you have already done your SWOT analysis, then you can give the answer in a better way without any trouble. What is SWOT analysis? It's an analysis of strengths, weakness, opportunities, and threats. We have many strengths, like the ability to do pressure, good management skills, good communication skills, organizational skills but you have to choose two or three skills that are directly related to the job for which you are applying for example if you are applying for the management position you can say that i have good management skills good communication skills but as far as the weakness is concerned most of the candidates find why difficult to give the answer most of the person say I am very emotional person, but it's very common and it's not an appropriate answer for this question. You have to tell your weakness in such a way that it shouldn't affect on the job performance for which you are applying. For example, you can say, uh, you can say here, like uh, sometimes I push my people very hard. But after some time, I realized that every person cannot work on the same wavelength. But this statement is very common to the experienced person, experienced interviewer. So he can ask for another weakness, be ready for another weakness. You can say that I am an ambitious person. But here, take care that the question may be derived from your answer also. The interviewer can say, it seems to me as a strength, don't you think so? So how to handle this situation? You can say that it may be strength for you, but it's a weakness for me because I always think that access of everything is bad. Moreover, in my life, I couldn't enjoy sedation due to my ambitions. So in this way, you should know that how to articulate the words in your interview now the next one is why should we select you is it the most commonly asked questions during the interview have you asked yourself before going to the interview that how you are different as comparison to other candidates because you are not going alone there are many candidates with the same qualification with the same experience as you have so do you have any special thing in addition to your qualification that is beneficial to the job for which you are applying. So, uh, for instance, if you are applying for the post of a professor and you are a well-known author for any book, then you can say that I am a well-known author of this book and I am going to teach these subjects on which I have written a book. So, I think that I have sufficient knowledge. So, in this way, you can tell them that why they should select you that how are you different from other candidates now the next one is 
Where would you like to see yourself after five years? Here the interview is asking this question in order to know your approach. Whether you have target oriented approach in your life. Because in the organizations, there are many projects and they have to complete the project within time limits. So they want a person who have a clear vision of the future. So in, a, in response to the answer of this question, you can say that after five years, I would like to see myself at a higher position with greater responsibilities and challenges. And I hope that I would have enhanced knowledge in this, in this particular area. And I hope that I would be in a reputed organization like yours. So in this way, you can give the answer of this question. Now the next one is, it's very difficult to give the answer of this question because it's a very tricky question. Like, do you consider yourself as a successful person? Now, either you will say yes or no. So if you say no, then you are totally wrong here. Because why the person would like to hire a person who is not confident, who is thinking that he is not a successful person, why the person will hire him. So that's the reason you have to say yes. But the yes word is not enough. You have to describe why do you consider yourself as a successful person. Because you can say that I am a successful person. I can say that I am a successful person. But why? Why we consider ourselves as a successful person? So if you have any great achievement in your life, then you can say that I have this one in my life. I have achieved this thing in my life and it's beneficial to the job also. Then you can say that I am a successful person. But as far as the freshers are concerned, so it's very difficult for the freshers to tell any great achievement. So how to give the answer? Here you can say, that since my childhood, I had a keen desire to become a mechanical engineer. If you are a mechanical engineer, then you can say in this way. Otherwise, you can say like, if you are a computer engineer, then you can say computer engineer. Since my childhood, I had a keen desire to become a mechanical engineer. And now I am a graduate of reputed University of India. So that's the reason I think that I am a successful person. Well, because I achieved the target that I settled in my childhood. So in this way, you have to articulate the words. But here you can also add one quotation that on the other hand, I also believe that success is never ending. Now the last one is that is generally asked by the interview interviewer at the end of the interview. Do you have any question to ask? Here, never say no. Because the interviewer always wants to listen in yes. Here there are two benefits to you. One is that if you say in yes, one benefit is that you have many doubts in your mind regarding the job. Whether you should accept the job and what type of work environment is over there. And there are so many questions in your mind. According to that, you would like to accept the job or deny the job. So when you ask the questions, all the doubts of your minds are clear. And second benefit is that when you ask the questions, your interviewer gets good impression of you. So always ask the questions. But again, there are two things. What type of questions you have to ask and what type of questions you don't have to ask. First of all, I tell you that what type of questions you don't have to ask to the interviewer. Then, never ask simple questions. For example, what are you, the products and services of your organization? If you are asking this question to the interviewer, definitely the interviewer will think that you are a lazy person or maybe you are not sincere person because you couldn't get five minutes to check the website of the company and you are going to the interviewer you are ready to join the job in the uh, during the interview and you don't know about the organization so never ask simple questions always ask questions of quality 
ask questions related to the organization, related to the job, and related to the work environment. Questions related to the organization you can that you can ask. Please tell me what's the degree of decentralization in your organization. Could you tell me the organizational culture? What are the different plans of your organization for the future regarding your diversification of your products and services? The questions related to the job that you can ask. Could you tell me in detail about the job responsibilities and duties? In this job, what type of clients I have to deal with? And what are the different challenges for the newcomer who joins this job? So now the questions related to the work environment, please tell me about the department in which I am going to work. Is it independent department or is it collaborative department with other departments? Please tell me something about the departmental culture. So in this way, you can ask many questions as you want, but always ask the questions of good quality. So these were the most commonly asked questions during the interview. Be prepared in advance before going to the interview. Thank you very much for watching me. Good luck.